All right, here's a little demonstration of uh, wireless charging with these new cell phone chargers that uh, are now on the market. They're not very expensive. And I went ahead and bought one to go along with this power bank that I bought in this uh, power meter. And uh, what this is is uh, an oscillator that oscillates uh, the DC signal into the 100 to 200 kilohertz range. And then it allows the uh, power to transition into a pickup coil right here which uh, normally goes in the back of your cell phone and I just wired it up to a little circuit here with some LEDs and then also a 12 volt um, motor and uh, that's a regular permanent magnet 12 volt motor and I was very surprised at how much energy can come out of that little pad and make that motor run. This is rated at 1 amp and uh, it'll do it. It'll run that. So this is the circuit right here uh, this is called near field wireless charging using the induction method and what it is is a couple of coils uh, an AC signal is sent into the transmitter coil the pickup coil is very very close and has to be very very close that's why they call it near field uh, it's rectified with a diode bridge and smooth with the capacitor I take that and I put that into a one fared super cap as the storage device it's a 5 volt and then I knock that down with a variable resistor to run my LEDs, three of them in parallel. And today is the um, 11th of April, 2015. Okay, let me show you how this works. I've got the little uh, fan thing hooked up to this circuit. The uh, charging uh, card is right there. I'll put this on here. You'll see a blue light come on. And there goes the fan. There's the amp draw, and this is what really impressed me. This is drawing an amp out of that little um, power bank. I've got some LEDs on. I've got a fan going. Watch when I take this off. Fan stops. Power draw goes way on down to just a trickle. And this is one of the important things I decided about this uh, method, is you can make circuitry such that the transmitter device does not draw very much power when it's not actually in use. There's an indicator LED on showing that's powered up, but right now it's not transmitting any more power than, than uh, just idle. If I put this back on here, there goes the fan again. Blue light shows that it's now transmitting the energy at that amount right there. I thought that was really, really cool, so I thought I would uh, share that with people. Now, here's the other part of the demonstration. If I take the fan off here, disconnect the fan, and I leave the, um, the little circuit on here. Let's see if I can get it to go. There it goes. Now, the energy is coming into that at a much smaller amount, but it's charging up that little supercapacitor right there. And that's what I wanted to show here is this is like your cell phone right here. You put your cell phone on this thing, the little blue light would come on. You probably wouldn't even have one of these in line. You wouldn't care. You just have some sort of a power source, be it the wall outlet transformer or one of these power banks. But your cell phone's now charging. And it charges up pretty darn quick. I was surprised. Um, like I say, the efficiency is about 70-something percent. And uh, it, can, it can punch an amp into this thing, which is a lot. Okay, now I'll take that off. And there's the uh, thing still running. And that's running off of energy stored in that supercapacitor. And I think of all the methods that I've tried for transferring energy electrical energy. This method right here, this near field induction method is going to win. And we are already seeing it in the cell phones and I think this is going to win out uh, over all the other systems. That's just my personal opinion. But man, when I saw this thing working like this, I said, man, that's, that's impressive. So 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm curious what your comments would be on this. Uh, like I say, I've studied this uh, power transmission for a long time now, and I like this method. It works well.